welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jo and I help creators with freelancing, passive income and tech. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can drive traffic to your lead magnets, even if you have zero followers. So you have this awesome lead magnet, right? And you're ready to exchange it for somebody's email address. But how do you get eyes on your lead magnet? I've got some great ways that you can start today and they're completely free. Before we dive into the video, I just want to let you know that any links to resources I put in the comment section below of the video, so definitely check those out. And if you find my content useful today, please make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep creating more for you guys. Okay, so what I want you to think about is a lot of the other social media platforms that are out there, for your posts or any content to be seen, you have to have followers. We, of course, are starting with no followers. So there are certain platforms and certain ways that you can actually get your product or your lead magnet seen without needing those followers. So I have found a couple of different platforms like Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, and also blogging, which basically platforms where people are searching for specific things, right? The other thing with these platforms is that these are places where people are already having parties. They already have large communities that you can join. There are already certain niches and topics that you can join and be a part of that will help you get your lead magnet exposed. So basically how it works is there are already people that are searching for specific things. For example, how to build a website, right? That is a very, very good term. So they are going to be searching on Google and they are going to be reading blogs, and then that blog could lead to your lead magnet, right? They're going to be searching on Pinterest. They're going to be searching that specific thing, how to build a website. Again, they're going to want to, you know, click on a pin or click on a video pin, watch or read about somebody, you know, teaching them how to build a website in a blog post, or it could be even a YouTube video, and then again, it's going to lead to a lead magnet. Now, the thing with Facebook and also Pinterest, so Pinterest has group boards that you can join, so that's how you can get exposure to a lot of commute, like a lot of people inside communities already. And Facebook is also a really great one to start with because Facebook also has communities that you can join. Now with YouTube, the great thing about YouTube is that you are basically posting to a search engine that is one of the biggest search engines where people interact with, right? Because they are coming on, they're searching for how to build a website, they're looking for something specific. And then they're getting a, vid a piece of video content, which is really high converting. And then in that description, you can lead to your lead magnet. So let me go through each of these examples and I want to show you exactly what that would look like. Now, this is a blog that I found when I was just Googling and it was how to make a website in 20 minutes. Now, they've given all the content. And if I scroll down to the bottom, they have a couple of different lead magnets or freebies that they're giving away in exchange for their email address. So they've got the free email course that they've got. And also down here, they've also got a free money cheat sheet. So this is obviously targeting students. So this is helping students save money and like build websites and all that kind of stuff and how they can do things. So they've also got their opt-in here as well. So these don't really have graphics or anything like that, but I would suggest that you have like a graphic because it just, you know, adds a little bit more interest to the page because otherwise people are just going to sort of scroll through your blog post, read the information and then leave. I also think that your lead magnet needs to have, like it has to have to do something with the blog post that you're writing as well because otherwise it doesn't really match up. Like this is to do with building a website and then down the bottom here it's all the way down the bottom as well like I would put it like a couple of times as well you know how to start a successful blog yeah I mean that that kind of works with building a website but remember that lead magnet has to be like irresistible to the person building the website now Pinterest works exactly the same way as Google or any other search engine so I'm gonna write how to build a website and let's see what kind of content comes up so remember, you kind of, when you're creating content to drive traffic to your lead magnet, you want to act as if you are the client or the person you're trying to attract. So you can see somebody here has written, which website builder should you use for your small business? You know, how to create a website for your business, how to make a website yourself step by step. So if we click into here, then it's going to give us like a nice graphic and a description. So this is the social media that you're creating. And then this is, you know, where people are going to come to. They're going to come to a blog post again. 
It's going to give them the instructions of how they do everything. And then inside here, you would have your lead magnet again. So just like how, you know, when you're typing into Google, you can find a blog post that's the same. Well, Pinterest is usually like a good way to drive traffic to blog posts. Now, the other thing that you can do as well with Pinterest, and I will just show you if I can find some Pinterest groups, is you can you join Pinterest groups like boards, right? So you can pin to boards of different Pinterest groups. And that is basically like a whole bunch of people posting about the same thing and you can access those communities that way as well so that's the best way when you're starting with no followers to be able to like get inside a community that's already built so that's what you kind of want to be looking for with your social media platforms unless you're like super uber duper great at like tiktok or instagram reels or anything like that where you can get instant traffic but if you're a complete beginner and you have no idea what to do, then it's better to look for communities that are already built. Now, the next place where you can find really good communities, and I recommend everyone start with this because you don't have to have any followers for any of these platforms, but Facebook is usually the one that everyone is used to using as a platform. But you can come to groups and let's say I was looking for people who want to learn how to build websites. You know, I'm going a bit further and my target audience is say women. I'm going to search for like, people who are business orientated, right? So I've, I just typed in women and then entrepreneurs, and this is what came up. Now you can see all of these different groups here. Now you don't need a following to be able to post in these groups. You can join these groups and then you can provide helpful information about your product, about your lead magnet. Sometimes they have posting days and things like that. And then you can actually get eyes seen to your, you know, your link or your lead magnet, and then you can get people into your email list that way. Now, the next way I want to show you is obviously on YouTube. So I've searched for how to build a website, and I'm just going to click on this first video here, and you'll see this guy has made some content. Now, you can put links and everything like that inside YouTube. So if I go down, you can see that he offers a free course. So that's going to be his lead magnet. So He's basically just created a video on YouTube and he's put his link below and people are going to sign up to his course and go into his lead magnet. So I hope that's given you a little bit more clarity around how you can actually, you know, get people into your lead magnet when you have no followers. I would recommend looking at the, each of the different platforms. It doesn't necessarily have to be these ones. But just investigating and picking out which one's going to suit your personality, your time frame, what your life is like, you know, what kind of content you like creating as well. And then just research and just see how the platforms actually work and if you need followers and if they've already got large communities that you can join, things like that. Because you might just find that one of these platforms whichever social media platform it is, it suits your personality and your lifestyle really, really, really well. And you can run with that one. And then once you get going with one platform, like only focus on one at a time, then once you get people into your email list, then you can actually use your email list as a platform to drive more people to other lead magnets. Remember, it doesn't just have to be all up here. Like you could get people into your email list and then once you have them in your email list, then you can actually tell them about other freebies that you have or other lead magnets that you have or other offers, anything like that. Hey guys, so if you enjoyed my content today, please like the video, make sure you subscribe, even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so I can create more for you.